Andrea Fuentes and Gemma Mengual from Spain. They have been at the top of this sport or close to it for so long, chasing the Russians who continue to set the standard. A great routine from them could put them in the gold medal spot. They're a half point behind Russia, but it's going to be a tough task to get them to come over the top of the Russians. This is actually the third Olympics for Gemma, who's about to be pressed up here by Andrea. Beautiful flexibility, and they're really showcasing that here at the beginning of their routine. Andrea's a new partner for Gemma. Gemma and her old partner, Paula, were actually fourth in Athens. They just missed the medal. If they medal here, it's the first medal for Spain in synchronized swimming. These two won gold at the European Championships this year. They've been working together for just over a year. How hard is that to learn these sort of routines with a new partner? Well, I actually think that they're a beautifully matched duet. Um, they, they do make some synchronization errors, and I, I talked with their coach yesterday after the free preliminaries, and you know she thought it was a good swim, but her impression was that there were too many synchronization errors, and you know I've already seen quite a few here in their first lap. Um, which is going to hurt them with Russia. They, they're going for a perfect swim. That's been their goal this entire competition, not a placement goal. But um, we've got to see a more synchronized ending if they have a chance against Russia. Well, these are the best of the best in terms of this sport, but how easily is that to correct overnight? Well, you know, when you watch a video, you, you do have the chance, and these athletes know this routine backwards and forwards. They have the ability to make those corrections. Watching each other a little bit on the back there to make sure they're right together on the under. Again, showing off their amazing flexibility. Little off vertical on those quick turns and even on this descent. And I like how when they transition out of a figure, it's always with an interesting move. They don't just tuck back up to the surface and come up again. A little more energetic today than we saw yesterday. Throughout these first three few days, you've used the term picture-perfect matching. What do you mean by that? Well, at any one point in a routine, they're going to have to be perfectly matched to the point where you could take a picture and not tell any difference in the position. Still very nice and high showing that they can maintain their height without sculling. A little more intensity. Still having some minor synchronization errors, Craig. I don't know, you know, with a half of a point to make up, I don't know if it's gonna be perfect enough. And that's really what it came down to for the Spaniards, wasn't it? That it would have to be perfect to give them any chance to make up half a point. That's a huge distance. Absolutely, they have to execute this well. From here they're gonna start to speed up again, showing their ability to sustain their height and move quickly through positions. Strong on their back. You know, this will be the first medal for Spain. Barring anything catastrophic, Craig, Spain should medal. They were eighth in 2000. They were fourth, as you mentioned, back in 2004. So if they do medal here, which it looks like they're going to, is this Olympic campaign already a success? Oh, I'm sure that just going for any medal for these coaches and this country is going to be an honor. I think the crowd's reaction wow. is telling us something, and sure enough, even the Russian judge awards them a 9-9. The only one lower was Japan at 9-8, but that gets thrown out for technical merit. The Spanish are always known for their artistry, and again, they get a perfect oh 10 goodness. from the Spanish judge. They're not leaving any room. The only judge leaving room there is from the United States. 49.5 for artistic impression. Their combined score between the two, 98.334. They move into the lead, and you have to smile, Heather, after a score like that.